Ooh. What is this? A mini fridge? With flammable refrigerant? Ooh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> so this is that uh, mini fridge that we saw sitting on the curb. Fire explosion hazard. Flammable refrigerant used. So yeah, as usual, um, quite dangerous looking. It looks like it just has this one little tray up here that does like all the cooling. Like, there's a little compressor. Quite a little, obviously. Oh, it's like sweating. So this is the discharge line on the compressor. Compresses the refrigerant, runs it up this way and into the side. I'm guessing it just gets rid of the heat on this side. And then it comes back as a liquid from over here. Oh yeah, so it gets, ri gets rid of its refrigerant on both sides. This line actually appears to be kinked pretty severely right there. Comes out and goes through this little liquid line filter dryer. Then it goes into a capillary tube which just follows up. Up to that single plate up here and then back down in the suction line into the compressor. So I have no idea if this will work. It's been sitting in here so it's been able to dry out a little bit the last couple days. But I think we'll plug it in. See what it does. Because I'm really curious. See what happens. Compressor is started. So, so far I'm surprised. Fire, explosion, fire, explosion, fire, explosion, fire, explosion. So I think I'm starting to feel a slight temperature differential between here and here. In a refrigerator that would have very much refrigerant, I bet this thing only has like three or four ounces, maybe even less. Let's see, so we got our model, total volume, voltage, amps. Startup amps, pressure, refrigerant, R600A. So this is an R290, this is a different propane-based refrigerant. Actually, I'm not very familiar with R600A. Whoa! There's like no refrigerant in here. Less than one ounce. 0. 0.71 ounces. Yeah, that's like such a small amount. How do you even measure that into something this like this? That's crazy. <laughs> Here we have a simple wiring diagram. There's like nothing to this thing. So let's put our hand on here and see if it feels cold. Yeah, I think that feels cold. I think it works. Yeah. That's so intriguing to me. Yeah, feels cold. You should put your hand on here. Feel it, it's getting frosty. 0. 0.71 ounces. It's cold. What is this cat doing? It's just flexing. That's so crazy. My mind is blown. I thought it would have at least two ounces of refrigerant. 0. 0.71 ounces? I have never witnessed a refrigeration device that has that small of an amount of refrigerant in it. So that's like so negligible, you wouldn't even be able to blow anything up. So it probably is pretty safe to use this refrigerant with this particular unit. Yep, R600A risk of fire. So, propane-based refrigerants and stuff are actually pretty safe since they're in such small amounts. Like 0.71 ounces is such a small amount. You'd probably have to like, I don't know, if you let all that into this little thing, maybe it could explode. Maybe still hurt someone. But <laughs> that's such a small amount of refrigerant that it really probably is fine. So anyway, mini fridge for sale. If anyone wants to buy a mini fridge, just uh, let me know. I will charge you $50.
Sound like a good deal? My mini fridge? Sounds like it would be a good deal. Yeah, it'd be cool because you bought it from the Oh wow, it's getting frosty. That's so cool. You can really hear it. It's noisy. That's so cool. I'm mainly intrigued. I guess that's all I have to say about this little thing. I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to like try to fix it. Or six hundred. Yeah, or blow it up because now that it works, I'd feel sad about just destroying it. Still might destroy it. I mean, because I don't really need one of these. This line is like mildly warm. And this line is getting mildly cold. Crazy. I just didn't know they could put that small of an amount of refrigerant in something and it work. But apparently it it works. I want the compressor to shut off at least once. Oh, there. So I just turn it down. Compressor kicked off. You can just hear the sound of the refrigerant flowing. As the pressures in the front and back equalize. Let's see the grid work of the... Of the evaporator. <laughs> so where does our capillary tube actually connect? Okay, so our capillary tube must be crimped in right here. So it starts right here and then it goes through everything and eventually goes back around this way. And then it goes into our other line and back down. How neat is that? I'm way more impressed than I thought I would be. Let's uh, go ahead and turn this temperature thing back up. I had to turn it up quite a ways before it kicked on. But yeah, it definitely kicked on again. I don't think it's even possible to slug a compressor that has this small amount of refrigerant in it. It gets really cold. This is like very cold. Let's feel it again. It's cold. It's cold. Maybe it's a freezer. No, actually, I'm pretty sure so. it's not. <laughs> it's definitely a mini fridge. Well, that is too cool.